In 2002, the Iowa Legislature modified Section 475A of the Iowa Code, adding the University of Iowa Office of the State Archaeologist, or OSA, to an expanded list of authorized easement holders. Cultural resources were added to the list of qualifying attributes that may be preserved through conservation easements. Of special importance, the changes also mandated perpetual enforcement and clarified that cultural resources includes archaeological and historical sites. In this way, conservation easements became a new and powerful preservation tool, far more effective than previously available easements, which legally expired after just 21 years. Under the perpetual enforcement provision, a landowner may now voluntarily care for and protect archaeological sites on their property, not just during the duration of their ownership, but as a forever legacy. This is because a conservation easement is a legal agreement recorded with the county and is permanently attached to a parcel deed. Because of this, a current landowner can guarantee the future preservation of an archaeological site even after the physical control passes to subsequent owners. Conservation easements are by definition flexible. In all cases, the land remains in private ownership. OSA works with private and public landowners to establish conservation easements, assisting to create win-win arrangements that allow, for example, certain farming, recreational, or business activities on a parcel that don't adversely impact archaeological deposits while limiting or prohibiting other activities that would have a detrimental effect. Identifying compatible use options for properties containing important archaeological sites is most successful when archaeologists and landowners cooperatively work together to delineate the activities and land management practices most important to the landowner and assess how these may impact any archaeological sites on the property. The long-term responsibility of the OSA is annual monitoring to ensure that easement conditions are achieved. For Lake Delhi, a conservation easement proved the most viable solution to a complicated situation that arose as part of compliance requirements stemming from the receipt of FEMA public assistance funds. These funds were approved by FEMA to assist with the removal of sediments introduced to the lake bed by historic flooding in 2008. A dredge containment area was developed and the conservation easement established to permanently protect four archaeological sites. The conservation easement requires that the current grass cover be maintained. Shrubs and trees are allowed to grow within the 50-acre conservation easement area, but specifically on the archaeological sites, the arrangement is for trees to be removed after they reach heights of approximately 6 feet. This keeps the root systems from impacting below-ground archaeological deposits. The conservation easement includes maintenance by mowing a series of walking trails. These trails are specifically situated to avoid impacting the preserved archaeological sites. In this way, a sustainable recreation area has been created for Lake Delhi residents that also provides in perpetuity preservation for the archaeological sites situated there. This level of preservation is significant and relatively rare in Iowa because so much of the state is privately owned, and without easements, there are few restrictions on what landowners may do with archaeological sites on their property. Everyone has a role in ongoing preservation through collaborative efforts with cooperative agencies and organizations, landowners with a stewardship ethic, supportive descendant groups, and a public who values that knowing the past can help shape a better future for all. Contact the OSA if you are interested in learning more about conservation easements.